The explosive cartridges are placed right at the toe of the drill hole. The shock tube is placed 150 millimeters from the toe of the hole by being inserted into the front blasting cartridge. The shock tube and the front cartridge will then become what is known as the primer. The correct amount of explosive cartridges, according to the site-specific mining standard, is then placed directly and snugly behind the primer. This is followed with the correct amount of stemming capsules as required by the Mine Health and Safety Act. The explosion occurs at the toe of the drill hole. The shock wave of the blast then travels into the face. This shock wave will first travel forward from the toe and then bounce back towards the toe of the drill hole. As it reaches the toe again, it will start expanding the hole with a bolt effect. As the bolt contracts to its original size, cracks will form in the rock. These cracks will be the same length on both sides of the drill hole. More cracks and wider in diameter will form on the side of the drill hole's free face. The shock wave will follow the road of least resistance and create more cracks on the free face side of the foot hole. The bounce of the shock wave will be followed up by a chemical reaction triggered by the explosion. This chemical reaction will release gas that will enter the cracks created by the bounce shock wave and widen them resulting in the rock breaking away to the free face side of the drill hole. The gas will enter the cracks on the other side of the drill hole at exactly the same time as the bounce shock wave and the next drill hole passes by. This creates a wedge effect between the gas and the bulge effect, resulting in the rock breaking better as the second hole breaks towards the free face side of that hole. This process repeats itself in milliseconds until all the drill holes have been blasted.